like a, it's kind of like a long drive for us, but Dan, he recently took a little bit of a break because he started uh, an internship. He started working. He actually goes to CSUN, so he's going to be yeah. focusing on school. Um, he actually, if I'm not mistaken, he actually just got sponsored uh, recently if, uh, um, by an esports team, so shout out to him for getting sponsored. Right I don't know how that's going to work out if he's not going to be going to a lot of events, but hey, man. I know. I was. How, how are you going to balance that? School and Smash, man, it's hard. It's difficult, but I respect it. Respect the grind. And here we are popping in uh, to, look, this is the first game, right? It's not 1-1. I think it's Yeah, yeah, update. first game, yeah. yeah. First game, got Zan and John Lemon here. Chrom Joker, what do you think? Honestly, your objective here as Joker is, on, as you guys have seen as of late, as how MKLeo is playing, mm -hmm. very with punish heavy. When you have a lead, you're going to have your opponent come towards you, and then you're able to punish them from that. Your ability to space and with punish your opponent is super important. Not only that, able to frustrate your opponent with gun, as well, yeah. so you're gonna be using that to your best advantage. But you have to be careful with Krom because he's a heavy hitter, but he's gonna give you arson a lot yeah. faster. I was gonna say, especially because Krom's so aggressive, uh, it, it's actually crazy for me how fast Joker's SP gauge meter charges so quickly for arson to come out. Yeah, it, it's super fast, and I feel like as soon as you have arson out, it's completely like different game. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a lot scarier. You have to kind of pay, play a lot more patient and be a little uh, less risky with your options. That was Look good. at that. That was really clean. Get the counter at the ledge there. Uh, beautifully done. That was nice. It shows up one of the shortcomings of, of being a Krom main is that you have to watch out for a lot of counters. That's kind of the one thing that kills the character, right? Yeah. Even if you do have Rebel's Guard, you're not going to be able to get rid of Krom that easily. But with Arsene, when you get Makari Karn or Tetra Karn, you're definitely going to get rid of Krom right away. I do like the fact that each time Zan does put him to the corner, he immediately just shows his back. You know he's going to be going for the back air. So he's waiting for John Lemon to action like the first approach and then go for the whiff on it. Because when you're at the corner, the first thing you want to do is get out of there. Yeah. And that was actually a missed opportunity there from uh, John Lennon. It was Perry, but didn't really react with anything afterwards. And I feel like it's also kind of interesting, too, because Joker's such a small character, and a lot of the times people's options that they opt for don't always work on Joker. He has such a smaller hitbox, and look how tiny he is as a yeah, character. Yeah, he's such so a thin frame. <laughs> yeah, super thin, um, and he's just very, like, agile, so he's very sneaky. And, yeah. Um, super fast, very agile character, and honestly, I'm not used to seeing like a lot of Joker play, uh, gameplay, but we've been seeing so much of it lately, um, and I feel like so many people are picking up, because of Leo, like you mentioned, yeah. picking him up, kind of giving him a feel, and uh, he's really good, especially, like I was saying earlier, it's like as soon as our sentence comes out, different character completely, and it's rough, it's super difficult, he's great, I, I think he's top five. Yeah, definitely one of the characters that they benefited from the last patch and the last week's uh, batch of buffs and nerfs, still top five, that upper definitely going to take care yeah. of the fact that John Lim was Go for carry up. So when it's, strong. And that's what I tell people like when you when you get when you get Joker and you have Arsene out, the real battle begins because once Arsene's out, that's where a lot of the damage starts coming in. And most of the kill options as well. Back air will kill even without Arsene, but you can really feel the damage once Arsene is out. Good opportunity, no tech and the follow up from Zen. He just ate a chunk of damage there. So strong. I feel like when at any time uh, you have Joker. Joker with uh, Arsene out, it's just mm -hmm. like double the damage. It's crazy, crazy damage output. He's fast, he's quick. Uh, he has certain um, combos too, especially like following up with up air after stuff, keeping your opponent in the air, juggling them. Yeah. Really difficult to land. Speaking of difficult to land here, I Dan know. does not have any difficulty at all because he's able to just go ahead and use bullet arts. One more time for the up air, yep. He nearly gets for the for grappling hook to survive, but unfortunately, oh, no. John Lemon did not get anything. Yeah, he's looking, he's fishing for the kill, but he's just struggling to find finishing blow here for this last stock. Going off stage, I like the attempt there. Not going to connect though with the forward air. Nice, he's looking for that spacing once more, and he wants to get the whip punish here. He Ooh. does have John Lemon on the edge, gets a jab, but he feels it out because he knows Arsene is one second closer to coming out, so he stalls himself for a second. But there's the counter, but no reaction. Good try though. Yeah, you have to respect the attempt, and that's kind of what killed the stock the last time. Jab, nothing yet found here. Yeah, definitely exploit uh, props of the recovery as well with uh, the counter option coming mm -hmm. out from uh, Zan there. Pretty smart. Zan pretty cautious here. He knows he's looking. He knows his opponent is looking for either an empty hop or an aerial, some kind of fadeaway. So he's not giving him too much. Zan's still the one to control here. No forward air, too much of a high percent here. He tries to go extra oh. low here, and Zan doesn't mind going for the. <laughs> Going for that kind of recovery, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, he wanted to go for it. He knew he wasn't uh, you know, going to win that. But at the same time, this is all about adapting uh, to your opponent, picking up from the first match that you just played with your opponent, picking up their habits, anything that you can uh, recognize and 
think of for the next game. Uh, this game is so important for like adapt adaptation, mm -hmm. uh, adapting to your opponent, their type of play style. Obviously, not every Joker is going to play the same. Not every Krom is going to play the same way. So it goes both way ways. But at the same time, like I'm never surprised if we do see, you know, someone from a MSM venue or event, excuse me, who comes out and, and beats a PR player, or someone who's well known. Yeah, it's been happening as of late. Like we saw Suda get top five last MSM. Yeah. We saw HLB beat Charlie. We saw a lot of uh, definitely unranked players coming out here and putting a name for themselves. Zan is definitely, definitely one of those players who has always had a name to himself. I mean, uh, I mentioned earlier he was sponsored. I believe he's sponsored by Team Zenma as a batch of one of their players who recently got sponsored. So let's go back to this game here. Zan, really with our Zan, I once again continue the same trend here. For John Lemon, it's kind of up to him to start realizing when do I need to put the brakes on my approach and start yeah. understanding that I'm getting oh, whip that was super nice. And, and like, yeah, like you're saying too, especially uh, when I feel like there's something, when our sense out too, I feel like some players either like back up a little bit, they play a little more patiently, kind of wait it out. They want our send to, you know, disappear. But other players, they get like even more aggressive. And at yeah. the same time, I feel like, like you're saying, John Lemon's going in really strong. And sometimes you just got to wait it out, be a little more patient, wait for your opponent to make to overcommit to something first, and uh, are actually seeing that a little bit right now. A little bit of a patience, kind of mixing up his movement a little bit, which is really nice. Uh, but here we go with Arsene out oh. again, full SP gauge. You're looking really scary with that down, <coughs> excuse me, down air to back air. I mean, that down air was so scary, it kind of choked you up for a second, because I, I would have been scared too. I actually almost choked on <laughs> when I was talking. Uh, honestly, this character is crazy how much killing potential he has. Look at that back air. Just Blue from mid stage. Yeah. So strong. Arsene so much damage. Strong. And that's where the real battle begins and watch Arsene is out. Your ability to understand your opponent's approaches and your opponent's ability to whip punish you is super crucial. How does well, how much damage does Aha do with uh so it, so Aha so Aha transforms into Aegon when when you get our sense, so it becomes a totally different move. I do know that even if you do get hit by it, you are taking damage still over time. Yeah. It's just much more stronger and it's also has more knockback. Is it like 18, 20 damage? I think it's about, it, I think it's, it has about like 4%, and then you take damage over time from it. I'm going all the way up to, I believe, 22% in That's total. That's what I'm saying, like 22%. And then Aegon is about, I think, 18%, but you still take more damage over time when it hits. Wow. Oh. It's a drag down, no reaction. You oh, can tell wait. John Lemon, he wanted the directional air dodge yeah. because he wanted to go ahead and grab the ledge, but he kind of got sauced there by getting him uh, dragged down up air. Yeah, the drag down, I think, is what kind of confused him a little bit. But nonetheless, bringing it ba back and answering out uh, with the bear there, that was pretty nice. Nice. We get the re from the jack down. And you can tell John Lemon just trying to escape that option here. Once again, this is the opportunity for him to understand I'm getting with punish. Here's my neutral air. Here's my couple four. And here. I got him at the corner, but unfortunately, did not read the roll get up. Ooh, okay. That was nice. And tricky situation. That was really smart from. Um, I actually noticed Jokers like to do that a lot. Not only Zan, but they love when they're off stage at the disadvantage. They'll throw out Aha. Um, and it's a great option because your opponent's usually waiting there at the ledge trying to read what the, you know they're going to do next. So um, pretty smart. They're never really ready for it. And yeah, it gives them free damage. I kind of want to see John Lemon play a little bit more ground in here. We are seeing him go for a lot of aerials and yeah. definitely Zan or AKA Cookie Slayer as you see him tag here. Has kind of caught up to it at this point. And he knows he's going for a lot of aerials. So if I'm getting a lot of these anti airs, if I'm calling him out in the air, I'm definitely a lot winning the victory here. So for John Lemon, it's up to him to understand. I got to play a little more grounded. Yes, my Nair is definitely one of the tools that gets my opponent off the stage, but I need to understand how I'm getting punished from here. And we kind of see him drift back a little bit. Yeah, is he already, he's already adapting a lot better and he's not too far behind. Definitely could be his game. From still a heavy hitter. Um, he just needs to go for some type of confirm here, and I think he's fishing for it with the back air here. Oh. Ooh. He was fishing for it there. He even kind of stopped himself in the middle of the side B. I think he's getting a little scared here. Might maybe respecting his opponent too much. Ooh, Perry not going to get anything off of it. I mean, and it's kind of funny too because in... Oh. Um, what? 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 I'm, I'm, he, yeah, he lost his sense of direction here. Maybe he didn't know he was spaced that way. He was trying to just... Uh, be out of shield. Yeah. Some type of percent. But at the same time,